Well, the boxing boys I'm delighted to be here with the quote Clarissa Shields. Clarissa, is that easy work as they say in America? Good work, it was nice to have it. <laughs> okay, I mean she was young, hard hitting. Did she give you any problems? Emma, did she give me any problems? Yeah. No? No, no I will let her do whatever I wanted. Um, threw my punches, broke her down to the body. I didn't get hurt in the fight. She had but a minute third, I mean in the ninth and the tenth round. Because I got the little nick here. But other than that, the fight was uh I was dominant. I heard her, I beat her, I get to go home with my belt and her belt, the WBF and on to the next. Is the difference between you and everyone else that you've got that old school American thorough technical grounding that say European fighters probably don't have? Yeah, yeah, it's confusing for them. The head movement, the, uh, the head movement, it's working the legs and being able to put the hands down the land punch. It's like Sugar Ray Leonard, you know, uh, Joe Lewis, Sugar Ray Robinson. That's the kind of style that I have. And a little bit of Mike Tyson when I feel like it. <laughs> and fighting abroad obviously holds no fears for you. Would you fancy going against Savannah in a stadium with thousands of her fans cheering her on? It don't matter. Because the thing is, you guys are going to be shocked, but the fans are going to cheer for me. That's what you're going to be shocked by. I'm way more known than Savannah Marshall in the U.S. and in the U.K. I won the Olympics here. This is like my second home. I'm happy to be back here in the pro. And uh, hey, if I got to come across the pond and fight against whoever they consider the best, look, I'm here. I'm here live and in color. Nobody's running from Savannah Marshall. And I wanted to clear that up right, right away. That's why I'm here in the UK, fought against Emma Coleman, and now next Marshall fights, then we're going to fight. That's what, that's what the plan is. Your list of achievements obviously just keeps growing. Yeah. Undisputed in two weight classes yeah. in, the, in the four belt era. A certain uh, Franchon uh, Cruz yeah. is announced as contesting the undisputed super middleweight title. Yeah, Rose, yes. Would you like to go for that? Undisputed in three weight classes. That might never be beaten, <laughs> that record. I, um, I want, I want Franchon to be Ellen Cedro. She deserves to be undefeated champion. Um, I want to be a five division world champion. I've already conquered the, one, the 168. I'm thinking about maybe going to 147 or possibly a 175 and catching some uh, another divisions or whatever. But 168, I think the fight between me and Savannah Marshall is like, um, Layla Ali versus Ann Wolf, the fight that we never got. So I think that we can make that fight in the years to come, but it definitely needs to be built up correctly, built the right way. And uh, I'm I'm quite sure that it can happen, but we fought against each other our pro debuts, and she's gotten better. I've, of course, gotten better. But um, I just want to wish her luck before I'm, I'm, I don't want to call her out just yet. I want to let her get her feet wet, defend her titles, get, get some buzz, and be good. Okay, thank you, Clarissa. Thanks for being If you enjoyed the video, feel free to hit the like, subscribe, and share. As always, if you want to support us to the next level, head over to the patreon.com backslash the boxing voice. We have tons of exclusive from Border Wars, from title, betting shows, the list goes on and on and on. But in addition to that, if you guys have questions for fighters, trainers, and promoters, this is where you can submit them. We will run out, get these questions answered, and put it back on the show just for you guys. Appreciate it. Peace.